Hey everybody, Adam here, and uh, back with some more vintage. Specifically, by popular demand, we are back with some vintage mana traders qualifier. Um, so I had posted on uh, all the social media platforms that I'm on. Um, hey, you know I'm gonna jam some vintage. Should I play uh, just a league and hang out with everybody, or? Should we see if we can queue for mana traders? And, uh, overwhelmingly, mana traders. Try to queue for mana traders. So, here we are attempting to queue for mana traders. Uh, so, step one, um, I guess, uh, more importantly, I don't particularly care about uh, qualifying for the mana trader series. Like, it's rad. I've done it before. A lot of fun. Uh, not, not a huge, like, thing that I have to do. Uh, but, I wanted to play some vintage. And specifically, I wanted to play this deck. So this is the deck that I was looking at the last time we played Vintage. Uh, and unfortunately, at the time, was unable to rent Treasure Cruise or Ledger Shredder. So that wasn't the thing that we could work out. But today, we are here with some Vintage Blue-White Stone Blade featuring Ledger Shredder. So, if somehow uh, you live in a hole and haven't heard about this card yet, Ledger Shredder is a 2-mana 1-3 flyer. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives. You draw a card, then discard a card. If you discard a non-land, put a 1-1 counter on Ledger Shredder. So what does this do? This is going to, in the situations where someone is jamming multiple spells a turn, or we're fighting counter battles, it's going to let us churn through some of the more irrelevant cards to try to find gas. Uh, so it's going to help push us into interactive spells. It's going to push us into other threats. Uh, and the whole time, it grows. So, another beautiful thing is that in Vintage, they let us cast Dig Through Time and Treasure Cruise. So through the process of turning Ledger Shredder into a big scary monster, the whole time, we're fueling Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time. So eventually, we just kind of get to pop off and cast a cruise or dig delving away a bunch of the garbage that we have binned to ledger shredder now beyond that we have stoneforge mystic uh you know like once legacy all-star stoneforge mystic now in vintage the things you fetch need to be pretty important and umazawa's jite for example not a spectacular get in vintage however cauldra complete Hot fire. Sword of fire and ice. Pretty good. So, we uh, we get to fetch a sword of fire and ice or a cauldra complete with our Stoneforge Mystics. Then, because we get to, and we should, we're going to play our one of Monastery Mentor. So, Monastery Mentor, of course, just all, an army in a can, like, restricted in this format for a reason. Card is obscenely good. Then, finally, uh, another one of somewhere fueler nope guess not for some reason my brain thought there was a narset in this deck apparently there is not uh i think that more recent versions of this deck have adopted a narset um i grabbed this list like last week or something and it it's close enough to what the other decks were playing and this seems sick so uh this is what we're gonna run with uh finally two copies of hull breacher uh, just another way to shut off PO and 8 cast and all that kind of stuff. Just another stupid hate bear that we can flash into play, clock our opponent with. Uh, we are a full 4 of Wasteland plus 1 strip mine deck. This means that we have the ability to not even worry ourselves with things like Urza Saga. We can probably deal with that. Also, it means that our shop's opponent doesn't get to run away with the game forever, which is pretty great for us. So, that is kind of the core of the deck. Beyond that, I mean, your usual blue soup, uh, Brainstorm, Ponder, Preordain, Flusterstorm, Ancestral Recall, Time Walk, Merchant Scroll, Force of Will, all, all the blue garbage you would expect, it's here. Uh, this deck is also playing a full set of jewelry, so that is Lotus and all five Moxes. Uh, that's actually pretty weird, for kind of a fair tundra deck like this in vintage uh but the game plan is that our our plan 
is kind of anemic by vintage standards. Stoneforge, Mystic, and the like. So what we need to do is go ahead and find a way to leverage that more quickly. So if we can dump a Ledger Shredder or a Stoneforge Mystic into play on one, or slam a Mentor on one, and just go absolutely berserk, amazing. Perfect. Incredible. Um, just gives us a little more... A little more acceleration to go ahead and keep up with all of the other degenerate nonsense in Vintage. So, with that said, let me pop over here and try to find us a Vintage match in the Mana Trader series. It'll accept. I accept. I will play a match. Okay. I understand I get less prizes because I don't have a full-fledged Mana Traders account. I understand. I don't have the big fancy Mana Traders account. My deck is ready. Look for a match from our opponent, Zabel. So, constructed, go to Vintage Open Play, oh, Tournament Practice, that's right, Zabel, play, perfect, excellent, and off to the races we go. Thank you everyone for joining this evening. I really do appreciate it. Plenty of ways you could choose to spend your Friday evening. Especially because we're on Friday now. I'm grateful you've chosen to spend it with me. This is dope. Okay. Play this tundra. Ancestral. Important ancestrals themselves. Deal. I'll play the Stoneforge Mystic. Place Force of Will pitching prone. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Rainforest. Does Ray show me a Tarmogoyf? Renin 6. Sure, sure, sure. 
Get back turn, yep. Stoneforge, trigger. Yes, please. Cauldra. Mox, sure. Oko, unfortunate, resolves. Stoneforge is an elk, sure. Okay. Rebuy Wasteland, sure, sure, sure. Okay, now we're going to cast Ledger Shredder. Attack Oko. Take my Tundra here, cast another Preordain. Um, what do I want to dump here? I don't think Flusterstorm is going to be particularly good. Ruby, sure. Okay. Oh, opponent is elf. Okay. Opponent is just Oath of Druids. Sure, 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 sure. Shredder, cast Mox, discard this, huh, discard Stoneforge, I guess? Insects.
I think if we draw a land, well, no, because they wasteland here. Yep. I mean, fine. Uh, Travis, looking unlikely. I've been running a fever most of this week. As much as I would love to, it seems unlikely, and I, it seems unwise, truth be told. Bottom. Bottom. Okay. Yeah, it's, so I've been, after we heard the news, I've been kind of keeping an eye on it, and uh, I noticed earlier this week that I was running a mild fever. Uh, I've been, I've been having some coughing and stuff, but I, that it could easily be uh, the, the joys of being asthmatic, um, and so that I wasn't, like, super concerned about it first yeah i haven't i have uh i have some tests that are supposed to be here in the near future i just haven't had one yet so gonna brainstorm here i wonder this flooded strand gets anything so that can go away Preordain. Sick. Okay, so opponent is some sort of rug planeswalker deck. I think Leyline is actually pretty actively good here. I made Force of Negation. Flusterstorm is fine, but also not incredible. That's the question. How do we how do we fight this battle? Wasteland seems questionable, but I think that we have to keep it for Yes. Maybe we're not supposed to go Leyline Deep. I'll cut two Flusterstorms. Or I'll cut two Force of Wills. And just try to play the Flusterstorm uh, Force of Negation plan. I do kind of want these ley lines because Ren and Six is probably like the primary way that we lose this game. But I don't know what I'm supposed to cut for it. Cut probe, a stone forge. Cut the fluster storm we brought in. Cut 
cut merchant scroll. Play something like that. I'm not sure that this is correct, but I'm willing to try it. Like hot but greedy. Yep, that tracks. Jordan. Horse. No shuffle. Lotus, sure. Sure, sure, sure. If opponent is smart here, their game plan is just to plus on these moxes and attack. I'm very clearly hurting. Yeah, we're just going to die to Oko Beats. This is unfortunate. very good strip mine from opponent I've changed my mind I think I want to go down flusters I think I would rather force a will my stuff just resolves I think we win this game this tabernacle would also be gas like in exactly the last game the tabernacle would be hot fire die roll keep ley line
Here's two threats and a ley line of the void. Good luck. Have fun. Just put a pony on the clock. Can you each player's upkeep? chooses a target player who controls more creatures sure Opponents at five, we have an active cauldron. Let's go. Strip mine, sure, sure, sure. Stripmine is tapping for mana. That's a time walk. Yes. <clears throat> That's a Niv Mizzet. Sure. Opponent okay. deals one to me. Sure, sure, sure. That's an Oko. Yes. Oh, Cauldra? Sure thing. I suspected opponent was Oath when I saw Gaia's Blessing, but I never saw Oath, so I haven't played. I didn't board like they were Oath, and that's a mistake. Okay.
sure. Yeah, when I saw Gaia's Blessing, I should have boarded for Oath. Chose not to. That's a mistake. Shredder has been elked. Yup. It's taking a long time to think about things that I don't think that they take that much time to think about. Like, I know that if I were opponent, the lines here seem mostly clear-cut. Orchard. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. That's unfortunate. Well, all right. Well, we lost the first one. That's okay. So, uh, back into the fray and we'll go to our next round. My deck is ready. Deck's perfect, no changes. I just need to be better. That's where we're at. Again, I appreciate everyone for joining in tonight, especially on an off night. Uh, grateful that you're hanging out with me on a Friday. Apologies for uh, yesterday's issue. There were some scheduling conflicts that came up, uh, and I was unable to continue with the stream as planned. I do apologize. Uh, I will try not to make it happen again. Promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, just some stuff came up pretty last minute that... I wasn't able to make it happen, so we'll definitely uh we'll definitely make sure it works out a little better in the future. Okay. Mana traders, I know that you're saying that you're pairing. And uh I, I, I know that you're why does the time keep increasing? Manitators, listen, I need, I need to, time to not be increasing. I need to be decreasing. I mean, to be fair, it's almost 10.30 on a Friday, so I guess I can't fault people. Hey! Crate waiting for... Okay. Create... Doodoo's in. I would love to play first. This seems great. Opponent walls to six, uh-oh. Opponent, this is a lot of thinking about Tundra Preordain. Top, top, draw the Force of Negation.
your preordained resolves. Wasteland, cast Stoneforge Mystic. Stonefor Stoneforge. Ple please. Please? Let me cast this one too. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Opponent's thinking really hard about this. Sure. Pretty high likelihood I just like Wasteland opponent cast Preordain or something. Armagoyf, sure. I'm gonna ancestral me. I was supposed to keep that wasteland because that lets me go mentor into cantrip. It's not mocked, but that's still pretty good. Tundra, Mentor.
would love to use that ability. I will take this cauldron complete. I will play this land. I'll move to combat. Cast time walk. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. N 10? 10. Opponent is dead. Caldra? Yield? Sick. Alright, we're playing against Rug. Plow. Probably interested in cutting these force oils. Opponent uh, does not appear to be Oath as their deck contains Tarmogoyf, so that's good news. Dress down is like fine ish. Um, not great though. I think I'll get rid of this force of negation. Keep the force of will. I think we're fine beyond that. <clears throat> Again, we can like play Leyline to like invalidate Tarmogoyf and stuff. But I don't think that it's actually worth doing. I think that most of our deck just invalidates Tarmogoyf. Okay. So for anyone also that heard me talking to Travis earlier about a fever and such, uh, locally, uh, one of our good friends in the magic scene, uh, who is also a, who also works with the public, uh, recently found out that they were exposed to COVID. Um, so, uh, I am exercising an abundance of caution. Uh, I have some mild symptoms that could be, and as I have yet to have tests shipped to my doorstep as I have requested, uh, I am voluntarily isolating at this present moment. Uh, don't worry, I am fine. There is... Uh, I, I am in no grave danger at this point in time. I am just exercising caution for compassion for my friends. I do not want to expose anyone else if it is possible that I do have the thing. Like, this seems very good. Chop. Ponder's fine. I'm trying to figure out here.
I think that the correct play is Misty Mox Pass and hold up as much interaction as possible. And if I don't have to expose this to Wasteland, I won't. Why do you have a stop set in my upkeep? We have a watcher. Well, that's even better. Cast this mox. I will preordain. I don't think I have any reason to do that right now. That's a running six, sure. Opponent gets back a scalding tarn. Hand is Pyroblast, Force of Will, Ancestral Recall, Mental Misstep. So if I walk here, they basically do nothing? I just have a feeling opponent's gonna force this. Play Mox. Play Strip. Strip this red source. I'm interested in making opponent force this whole breacher.
Like, I'm definitely down to play this game right now. Because if an opponent goes force pitch misstep, then their hand basically doesn't really do anything. Oh, it's just in. That's so much better. Rebuy. Blast resolves. I will miss up. They missed up back. Sure. Cast Stoneforge. Right now, like, this actually feels pretty good. <laughs> There's the Tarn we knew about. Regrow the Tarn. Dak Faden, sure. And of course, the two mocks that I've drawn are on color for them. That's great. Float green. I feel like queuing rug twice is not really the life you're looking to live with this deck, but. I, mean, I suppose that that's the life we're living now. Okay. the wasteland sure plus stacking themselves Play strand here. I'm gonna get basic planes. And there's the punish for it. And we'll fire it off.
Tundra, Preordain. Weird. Sure. It feels weird to fire that fluster there. Instant sorceries have retrace, sure. Their game plan is to walk here. Yup. These things are happening. A new run in six, sure, sure, sure. Regrow Wasteland. Oh, I don't think I have a particular reason to cast this jet. So I won't. Yeah, like that's fine. So their game plan is to bolt me to death. <clears throat> I mean, we float. Six regrows trop. I'm definitely glad I have. So I did do that, right? I did not bring the extra force of negation. Rip. I guess to be fair, I didn't see the time walks thing. I didn't see the entire suite. I just saw Oka running six Tarmogoyf. When it plays their trop. If opponent plays their cards correctly, we lose here. Yep, so this should be bolt me.
Bolt me. Sure. I mean, sure. Regrow Volcanic Island that we probably should have regrown last turn, but like, okay. Pitch. I mean, the opponent knows the whole hand, right? Okay, looking at this again. We'll cut Force of Will, we'll bring in Force of Negation. Actually, I'm changing my mind entirely. Can we please? Luster. Bring these Force of Wills back in. Now the question from here is, do I want this Ley Line? Knowing the opponent is like the, the Walker's Time Walk stack, do I want Ley Line to shut that off? Like probably their only creatures are like Tarmogoyf and stuff. I think we can outclass their Tarmogoyfs and stuff on the ground. We'll just board in these ley lines. Yeah, sure. Let's run it. Won the die roll. His hand does a whole lot of stuff. Show me Force for Mental Misstep. Oh, this is dope. Mox, shirt. That's better. <laughs> Just turbo jam this mentor. I don't think I'm willing to fight over it on the stack. I think if it resolves, I'm willing to fight. There goes Time Walk. I'm willing to fight once. I lied. 
We're going all in. A brainstorm, sure. One is looking for like specifically bolt now. That's correct. Is it Tarmogoyf? Run and six, sure. Opponents in the tank. <clears throat> Play their trap. Sure. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Find our cauldra. We've had a pretty threat dad's hand with mentor, ancestral, stone forge, double force. And a shredder and a breacher. Yep, this is fine.
You're praying I don't have white source. Well, you got lucky. It's not white source. Attack round six. What do we scroll for here? I think we just cast scroll and figure it out later. in this brainstorm I mean, I know you have the force so well. You just showed it to me earlier. Sure. I think the odds that opponent wins this game in a minute 51 are basically zero. Sure. I mean, I guess, yeah. I don't know that I would have tapped Volcanic Island for that, but like, sure. Sanctuary, get back preordained, sure. Yeah, opponent has been in the tank way too much this match. They're going to lose to time.
if opponent hadn't already pitched their time walk, I would be willing to have a conversation about conceding, because if they showed me time walk, like, they can demonstrate the, the run and six rebuy forever. I'm gonna cast this sword. Valued the one incorrectly at first. I didn't think they were rug walkers. I expected more of the Tarmogoyf heavy creature plan. Like some sort of death right shamany rag of any pile. But I assessed that incorrectly. And as such almost lost. But we didn't. So cool. Alright. On to round three. So we are currently one and one. Uh, out of our first 10 matches, we need to win seven. So 70% win rate uh, all the way up through 19 matches to qualify. Uh, and then it gets a little, yep, it's 70% win rate in at least 10 matches, 65% win rate in 20 matches, or 60% win rate in 30 matches. So, I think that uh, as it sits, I will probably jam a few more rounds tonight, and then we'll see what the rest of the weekend shapes up like. Um, but yep, currently we are 50% win rate. We can afford to drop two more in our first batch. Tom, hello and welcome. That's right, Tom. I see you lurking. Sneak in and don't even say hi. I think this is the longest I've ever seen cues for this. And again, I suppose, again, it's 11 p.m. Eastern Time on a Friday night. It's vintage, so... I also think that if I remember correctly, uh, they cap at midnight in your time zone. So if I, as I recall, I will likely get about one more. But again, I appreciate everyone joining tonight. Um, as it sits, uh, again, I will likely play I'll play through at least 10 uh, again probably in some combination over the next couple of days um, so stay tuned there will be a bonus stream this weekend hooray hurrah um, since I am going to be shut away at home for the weekends I will hang out here and play a little more vintage with all of you so if you are not currently following me on twitter do I guess uh, I always post on Twitter before I go live. I also post on Facebook, but that's like my personal Facebook. So I'm sorry, I'm not handing that out to all of you. I love and appreciate all of you for being here, but that's not happening. Rating for crazy, craze year 15. Sure. Create. For those of you who are already somehow friends with me on Facebook for whatever reason, uh, I love you and I'm sorry. We won the die roll. Sure thing. 
easy keep. Mox. Flames. Mox. Stoneforge. Turn one cauldron complete. Flusterstorm back. Lotus, yes. That's an automaton, y'all. Yep. Put this cauldron into play. We're just racing each other at this point. That doesn't matter. If opponent is clever, this matters. That doesn't matter. This one's free. Attack for six. Glad we had this conversation. So the plan is basically just don't die the yeah don't die win game okay so this deck is normally a po deck full disclaimer this is normally a po deck that said i want this force i want these fluxes i'm gonna cut off fluster storm singular This is also, like, fine. <laughs> I think we're all right beyond that. Plow is okay, but I think Flux is just as good or better. Turn one nettle cyst, sure. I'm gonna probe here. If we draw mox, I kinda wanna cash there we go. If we draw mox, I want shredder.
That seems very good. That doesn't matter. Automaton. Revoker. Limpin' Hole Breacher. I want this land because, again, if opponent is smart, this mox gets shut off. I'm not saying that's 100% going to happen, but shutting off this mox would be very good. <clears throat> like, I think that if I were opponent here... Well, first off, I let all that patchwork automaton trigger resolve. Automaton trigger resolves. Yep. Revoker resolves. Correct. You actually shut off mana abilities. That is correct. But do I remember that correctly? Yes, I do. Coil engine, sure. I'll take five. Mox? Preordain. Not particularly interested in Cauldra here. Always yield the Monk Prowess triggers. Bottom, bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Treasure Cruise! Preordain. Bottom. That will be very good.
We don't have a way to call it already, which is unfortunate. Sick. Let's go! Energy flux for the win! Hell yeah. Alright, well that was cute. Uh, let's see if we can jam out one more here while we, uh, before we get capped out. I'm into that life. I just don't think opponent was in a position that they were preparing for the eventuality of energy flux. I think the reality is that, like, a lot of those decks expect that you're on, like, Null Rod or Stony or some such nonsense when you play, like, the, the decks like that. These kind of hate bears -y white X creature decks. And so by fluxing them instead, like, they wouldn't have cared about Stony there. They would have just killed us around it. Whereas Flux, it's just like, okay, well, you have two lands. You can pay for, like, one of these things. And no one of them is winning you the game. And it cost you two life to pay for it, so... At that point, I think that the only, like, defensible choice if you're gunning pay at all is to pay for the lifelink worm but even that feels pretty bad sorry for anybody following my drink habits on this channel i picked up this passion fruit puree stuff from costco and it makes delightful like gin highballs uh, but uh it is full of seeds which are totally edible and very reasonable but not incredible in cocktails and my shaker can't handle all of the pulp from the passion fruit puree and my hawthorn strainer just isn't good enough it either it either ends up with everything clogged in it or just letting everything through and there's no way to tell which way is which and so for anyone who missed it earlier we are playing uh, vintage, what I'm calling Shredder Blade. So this is a four ledger shredder, four stone forge mystic, kind of blue white mid rangey deck. You are playing a full suite of vintage blue cards in Ancestral, Time Walk, Brainstorm, Ponder, Preordain, Force of Will, Fluster Storm. You got Hole Breachers. Like it's your normal blue suite, but you have some stone forge mystics and some ledger shredders and a couple of main deck swords to plowshares, and you were just trying to like tempo your opponent out just here's a threat that's hard to deal with i'm going to play the could play protect the queen with like a cauldra complete and that's that's how this life is gonna live so it's been like this deck seems sick i am a, quite a fan i uh i saw this deck in a deck dump last week from the week the challenge the weekend before and i was like this is sick i'm in and it has been everything i hoped for and more um i think i do wish that we had a way to answer like some sort of like piffing needle effect or something that bullied on uh things like renin six or oko that are just generically problematic for the deck but i think that beyond that like deck solid and a lot of fun all right perfect waiting for grumpsh not quite spelled right but i'll accept it
Okay. We're just waiting for Grumsh. Ah, oh, A. We won the die roll. This is so good for us. I, I, I mean, yeah. This isn't incredible or anything, but it does things. Go find basic islands. Mountain. Our opponent is a lunatic, but I love it. So opponent is wild and crazy over here playing goblins and vintage, and here I am trying to cast Stoneforge Mystic. Recruiter resolves. Currently problematic, we have absolutely no way to cast this Stoneforge Mystic, which would be very, very good. Feels Snoop, Snoops, Prospector, Goblin Recruiter, Kiki Jiki, Lackey, sure, annoying. Correct. Gas. Sick. Okay. So, uh, Flusterstorm, very bad. Containment Priest, good. Plow, good. Force of Negation, bad. Tabernacle, like, fine? opponent we're both out here living peak 2016 legacy and vintage it's excellent big fan <clears throat> oh 
probably take the scroll out. Scroll seems really slow. I'm gonna keep this. Probe you. Lock shed. Lock ruby. Turn one mentor. Go. Well, that's rude. You get one, I guess. Mana Crypt. Yeah, opponent lost the flip. Let's go. Matron, okay. Sick. Great. Yeah! <laughs> Racing and goblins. Let's go. Monastery Mentor doing the Lord's work. Hell yeah. Alright. Well, we lost one. But boy howdy. These are some good ones. Uh, we can get one more. We'll just keep firing them off until we're told that we can't anymore. It'll be great. Again, I appreciate everyone joining tonight.
lots of ways you can choose to spend your Friday evening. I'm grateful that you've chosen to be here with me playing uh, Vintage Stoneblade for whatever reason. But it's been great fun. Um, I, while we're waiting for our opponent, like, all the usual, like, if you like what you see here, follow, throw me your Twitch Prime if you're not using it elsewhere. Uh, follow me on YouTube. Uh, the YouTube link is down in the Twitch description. I post all of the stuff that we do here, over there. Uh, I try not to cut off too much. Uh, I know that some people like a little more truncated version. Uh, watch it at one and a half speed. Uh, skip through stuff. It's cool. I don't mind. It is there for your leisure if you wish. This is gas. I'm going to keep... So opponent is a Luris deck, so they're probably like hate bears. Supporting some flavor of bug. Got it, got it, got it. card we didn't know about so we know the rest of opponent's hand resolves it's fine gain some life. I have presented you my ledger shredder. Resolves. Over here, shrinking time away. Second goy, sure.
Okay, so we still know most of opponent's hand, including another collector roof, which is going to be problematic, but not game ending. Pretty, pretty priced into blocking here. Sure. Tutor resolves. So bugs stand still. How in the world? AVP, sure. That ain't it. Dead to Tarmogoyf, got it. Okay. Plow, plow. <sighs> okay. We cut force of negation. Cut a fluster storm. Sure, this seems fine. I just want swords to plowshares to answer their deeds. Like that's that's really it. Again, tabernacle is okay. They play enough idiots that I could probably try to resolve a tabernacle, and it would make their life annoying. I won the die roll. I will play first. Opponent knows the whole deal. Goodbye, Death Bridge Shaman. But it does have the wasteland. Okay, that's annoying.
I mean, yeah. I have no idea why our opponent did that, but like I'm into it. Correct. <laughs> like, opponent was very clearly just supposed to wasteland pass there. We're just going to run this back. I mean, sh sure? I'm going to let the opponent tell me what matters here. Basaju is land for turn. Sure, sure, sure. Basaju, sure. The demonic tutor, sure. Playing tundra. Plow resolves. Death right, sure. Okay. All 
I choose not to block Tarmogoyf. Okay, now what? Now we sit here and stare at each other? I want to play the wasteland, right? Yep. Triple Ledger Shredder, let's go. Did not realize the opponent also had plow. Yikes. We dead. Well, okay. I suppose if one is gonna go out, well. Are you gonna let me do it again? It looks like it might even let us do it again. Yeah, our, our random bug standstill opponent splashing for plow was not something I had on my radar. I mean, I suppose that that's all fine. I don't think I'm on most people's radar right now, but that's okay. Play five more matches and win at least four more. Okay. Commander Traders, I think we can do that. I think that we can manage that. Gonna see if it'll let me queue one more before the uh, midnight cutoff. Let's see. We're three and two right now, which for a first run with this list, I think is pretty good. Especially since I believe that this list has since been updated. I was looking at a version earlier that I'm pretty sure had a, a three man on Narset in it. So I think that people have already been innovating on this, but I think that the list overall is pretty rad.
and this doesn't draw nearly as many cards as my normal vin the normal vintage pile I play so I think this is all totally fine I'm okay with us being three and two right now and truth be told it's not like I have to if I'm going to queue it's not like I have to queue in ten I think that realistically I will if I don't queue in ten I I probably stop somewhere shy of twenty if I don't make 65% win rate by 20 matches. I think that's about where I'm like just over it. Come on, man, just give me one more. Give me one more before you cut me off. Sound like some sort of uh, some sort of junkie right now. I just need one more. Give me, give me one more before you cut me off. But no, I I have missed vintage a great deal, and it has been great to be able to fire up into vintage queues again and not have it be an atrocious nightmare. And it's just exceptionally cool that like Wizards rebalances vintage leagues, and then here in July the Mana Trader series is vintage. I think that's going to put a lot of new eyes on vintage as a format for people who haven't necessarily been into the format at length. Mana traders, please. Please. I just need you to give me one more. It hasn't strictly told me I can't play anymore yet, but the pairing is taking significantly longer. But yeah, um, so again, I will be around this weekend, uh, kind of just hanging out. So at some point, it is likely we will hop back on here and play a few more matches for Mana Traders. So keep an eye out for that. I, again, I will announce, I will try to announce it on Twitter, uh, at least a couple hours before I go live so that if you are interested in catching that and actually preoccupied like a reasonable vault with your weekend um, people will have time to know Schultz cubed red mana traders come on But again, I do appreciate everyone coming out tonight. Lots of ways you could have chosen to spend your Friday evening. I'm grateful that you've chosen to spend it here with me. Playing Vintage Stoneblade. If you are somebody who is just looking at Vintage uh, as a format, I would say that, like, as much as I think a deck like this is really cool, and if you are coming from a place like Legacy, where a deck like this, uh, like, at first glance seems familiar don't do this to yourself um i'm three and two and i play a reasonable amount of vintage not a ton i you know i'm no justin Gennari or anything crazy like that but i play a reasonable amount of vintage in my time so like i understand and even i like i have made some obvious choices on hands i'm keeping i, I have kept a lot of hands in this league or in this handful of matches that's just been like, we're gonna jam our threats. We have like a force of will or a mental misstep or something, and we're just gonna go absolutely ballistic. And then who knows what happens from there. And like, that's probably not a great way to, to go about this. I'm doing it tonight because I can. It's Friday, I'm having a great time. We're into our second cocktail and life is great. Um. But if you are somebody who is, like, actively trying to get into Vintage and play the format well, or do well in a league, or, like, queue for this Mana Traders series, I couldn't recommend this deck to somebody if you are just diving into Vintage. Like, to play this very, very well, you would really need to understand a lot of the format's dynamics and know how to work 
razor thin margins with them. Like, there are going to be games with this deck that you just get to, like, jam a Stoneforge for Cauldra on one with, like, double force backup or something dumb like that. And, like, sure, it's absolutely going to happen some amount of the time. But, like, probably not a significant amount of the time. And I, I don't know that I would actively recommend somebody jump headlong into this trying to trying to make things happen but if you are looking for something sweet to play for fun or whatever like this deck is sick this deck is very very good greg if you end up watching the uh vod of this uh this is a deck that i think that even i think this is a deck you would love because of what it does even though i don't think that you are a huge vintage person all right so i've been pairing for eight minutes we still haven't found anybody if i hit it says eight minutes if i hit exit q what happens you tell me i can't play anymore yep you do okay Nope. Boo. Okay. So it just caps at midnight Eastern Standard Time. That is unfortunate. Well, okay. I guess that is it for us for the evening then. Uh, again, we are currently 3 and 2 with Vintage Shredder Blade. So, again, uh, we are a... If you were used to Legacy, I would call this a mid-range deck. You are a Stoneforge Mystic, like, beat em to death deck. Uh, in Vintage, I would call this a Tempo deck. You are the equivalent of Delver. Uh, you are trying to present a quick clock, protect it, and beat your opponent down very, very quickly. You do so by playing Stoneforge for Cauldra, or by jamming a Mentor and just casting a bunch of cheap spells. Um, time Walk makes the clock just ever so slightly faster on the in the situations where you draw it with a threat in play. Uh, Sword of Fire and Ice is a card that you can use to play more of that kind of mid-range grindy game. It's a regular source of card advantage that also has some neat bonus side effects. Um, and then like, sometimes you're just like, I'm gonna play a Hull Breacher, we're gonna make some extra mana, and I'm just gonna sit around and cantrip and dirtle and do nothing, and three you every turn. And, and sometimes, in some circumstances, that's gonna be good. But most of the time, we're looking to establish a quick mentor or a quick cauldra, beat our opponent to death, and tell them no enough times that they can't do anything about it anymore. So, again, that is it for me for tonight, everyone. Again, I will be back sometime this weekend to finish off at least a handful more matches for the Manitrader series. See if we can queue this weekend while I'm uh, shut away. So... Uh, stay tuned on Twitter. Uh, I will be posting on there a couple hours or so before I decide to go live this weekend. When I decide to go live, uh, we'll, we'll make it work out. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope that everyone has a wonderful weekend. Enjoy whatever you have planned or don't have planned. Those are the best weekends. But I will see you all again soon. Cheers, everyone. Have a good night.